Hello! Welcome back to labor number 10 of our Knit Killies challenge. This challenge is the cow of Garyon? G-E-R-Y-O-N. We're not really so sure. So for this challenge, or this, I guess, labor, um, the king, whose name we are very terrible at pronouncing. Eurysius. It's like Eurysius, but it's not Eurysius. I think it's the, it's the S to the P. You're a we're not we're not great with it. Um, so he has been tasked for um, st for stealing the cattle from the monster Garion. Um, it's, it's not actually that hard to steal the cattle. The problem is is that the monster itself is um, many headed and many legged and very like speedy, so it's hard to sneak past him. Really. Combo. So because the this monster, Garion, is essentially the grandson of Medusa, the Gorgon, that most people know. Um, so, this is a whole story. I read the whole, like, genealogy situation with lots of consonants in their names, and that was tricky. Um, but he's, like, the grandfather of Medusa, so he's got like, powers and stuff like that. But why we are doing this challenge is because we are having to combine two different crafts, just like Garion is a... Combo pack. Yes. So we are combining knitting and crocheting. That's my older daughter who's having to go to Costco with the wait a minute. Target. Target. <laughs> um, so You'll see why she had to go in Labor 11. <laughs> we are doing Grannies in a Row. Grannies in a Row Zops. by Jen Yard. Excellent. I purchased the pattern. That was my job. And I picked out my yarn earlier this week so i actually don't remember what i picked out so it's a mystery to all of us would you like to share about yours first or shall i go first you can go first i am to have this in my twofer from aaron lane bags it's origami dinosaurs it's cute i this like is it what the other side it looks like it's kind of rumpled so you can't really see them um so oh look at that so i'm doing different from gab's Shocker, she's gonna risk it all. I went for a safe route. And so I picked this nice blue. Would you like to be my helper? This nice blue for here. For my cuffs, heels, and toes. What and color I, is this? I, don't know. I think it's cheers. Is it the other half of the, the share a pair from Mandy's, Mandy's Making? I use that blue like in everything. That I'm I pretty have. confident it's yeah, it that. Looks like it. Yeah. And then I'm using, Gabs also gave me this, using um, this Felici. Yeah, Chaley. <laughs> Felici, um, called a gummy bear as the rest of the foot. And then I picked out a bunch of minis to do different combos for my little granny squares. So I picked, I channeled my sister and I picked all these bright colors that do still go together because I am very much so myself. So I have Birch Dye Works Azalea. Put between my fingers. And then Pancake and Lulu Apple Lime. I don't think I have enough space in between my hands. You have two hands. Okay. Asylum Fibers Ultraviolet. Asylum Fibers Creepy Graffiti. Oh, your fingers are so short. Yes. Asylum Fibers, <laughs> Drink Me, and Birch Dye Works, Rhododendron. Huh? So then I will have all, ooh, that was, <laughs> <laughs> I will have main foot and then the cuff. These, so these are all of my colors that I'm using. I'm actually really pumped about these selections now that I remember what I'm doing. These are really cute. Yeah, put them on this side, please. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Aggressive. I have a plan called. What you doing? Your sound oh, it's not going to work. You have to tap the thingy. No, no, that thingy. Silent. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use this one ball of <laughs> self striping yarn. Is it self striping? Maybe. Gabs, yeah, it's not so striping. It's like the Regia. Oh, it makes like a picture-y thing. It's like cloud and stuff. I don't know. I'm a, so here's my plan. 
I read the pattern. The pattern has you make the granny squares first. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have pinky granny squares with blue rest of socks so it keeps the like color together. Do yeah, but you have to go up. Yeah, I know. And then down. I know. So, part of Chaley's challenge will be accepting that I'm not doing what the pattern says at all. And I'm just doing it and make sure I'll twitch you. But... <laughs> I have minis you could use. I don't want to do that. So, because I want to see what happens with this. I am pretty confident I do have enough yarn, though. I have 350 yards, so 80 grams. I actually think that's going to be okay. What? Okay. It's going to be fine. It's fine. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, we're all going to find out now, aren't we? <laughs> so this one will probably be one of our longer in terms of the amount of time it takes us laborers because we basically won't finish this video until both of us are done um, with it or won't post until we're both done. So hopefully we get it together and get going quick on these. Um, I had the pattern printed in my backpack, so I'll go refer to that. And I read it. I read the pattern. We're good. Good and good. Well, did you read it? I skimmed. Well, she printed and I read it. So together <laughs> we're one crafter who does what they're supposed to do. We got it. Okay. We'll see you soon. <laughs> and we've lost her. finished my first tube of this you might be able to tell from my voice i'm not feeling too awesome so we're doing our best but i feel pretty good i'm gonna cast on or get the next one ready to go i think i'm gonna do some yarn management because i ended right here on the red and it's only like a little bit more just i would have to remove the pink and a little bit here to get into the blue to start it in the same place and i think it would be cute if it started in the same place. So I'll do a little bit of yard management and then, well, I guess I don't have to do it yet because I start with the cuff first, but I might as well just do it while I'm here. Well, I'm off by a row, but I'm gonna call that good enough. I think they look pretty cute. Okay, both tubes are done and I have this much of the contrast that I had picked out. However, I only have eight grams left and I'm pretty sure that's not enough. So because I have plenty of my little scrappies here from what I used for the um, granny squares, I'm going to use each of them to make the heels. So there are going to be a little bit of fraternal twins. Um, but that's all right. You can see I was a little off with my stripes as well. Also totally okay with me. So I'm going to add in these heels and then we'll be all done. All right. So I have wrapped on my grannies in a row socks all done. So these are the heels that I punted on and I think they came out super cute. Have I done the thing again where I stayed up way too late because I desperately wanted to finish these? Yes, but that's okay. That means the challenge is done. So labor number 10, I think is what we're on, is complete. So this was actually really fun. Um, I will say like once we got through kind of like the tedious um, part of the granny squares, I did make um, some adjustments. So I only did... Um, just two rows after um, the grannies for before I started the cuff. I did Jenny's stretchy bind off for the cuff. I did about 15 rows and then I had some trouble picking up my stitches. So on one of them, the cuff is 60 and the other one, the cuff is 56. I don't really care. Can you tell? Nope. So I think that's fine. I did do 56 for both of 
like the leg and foot parts because that's my normal amount that I do. And then again, I did an afterthought heel. So I think they turned out super cute and super cheery. I'm excited um, to be done with this one. And my sisters also um, are very cute as well. I don't actually know if she's gonna come before or after me. So who knows? She did finish um, before me, uh, that's okay. Uh, but I blitzed through these babies. Um, so here we are labor number 10. Check her off and we'll see you next time.